Hi guys, it's Mr. Slaybaugh here, and we're going to do a lesson on cowbells. Uh, cowbells have a very fun and unique history. Somewhere between the 18th and 19th century, um, people, composers, were asking percussionists to go out in the field and take the bell, literally. A bell that would hang from a cow, much thinner material, had a clanker in the middle of it. And they would say, go out in the field, steal the bell off Bossy's cow, remove the clanker, and strike it with an implement. Uh, because they wanted that unique sound that might be used to think that you're in a, in a rural setting or in a pasture. Um, so too, it's been used in Latin music for a long time. And cowbells come in a variety of shapes and sizes. They're meant to be played with a stick. Cowbells can be mounted. Uh, inside of this location would be mounting hardware that's often removed uh, because it's played with a hand. Or if you don't have the mounting hardware, put down a piece of muslin or felt and you can have quick access to it on a, a music stand. You can also kind of play it on the music stand. It doesn't have the same quality of sound. Let's talk about how to hold a cowbell and play it. Very simply, find the mounting hardware end of it and hold it from the sides that are thickest. Both on the sides where the welds are is thick. It mostly resonates its sound in between. Take a drumstick and on the shoulder of the drumstick, play on the edge of the, of the cowbell. You don't need to beat the heck out of it. It's pretty loud without you having to smack the Bee Jesus out of it. Um, cowbells come in a variety of shapes and sizes as well. That was a standard cowbell you saw, one that was closer to the size that hung around Bossy's neck. Now, this is called a mambo bell or a large cowbell. That would be one big Brahma bull that this would hang around, so I don't think this ever hung around a, uh, the neck of a cattle, but I might be mistaken. Um, it's held in the same fashion, and you can hear that you play on the outside edges of it. You can get a good sound. Again, you don't need to hit the instrument overtly hard. You just need to hit it accurately. Cowbells can also be played with the tip of the stick. In different pitches as you go in closer to the mounting area. So that you can get variants of sound. In Latin passages, you'll play between those. And to get a, an interesting sound for whatever the purpose is. Again, don't beat the cowbell up too much. Here's some examples of cowbells that have been beaten up too much. Um, it's really sad. This can't be fixed. Someone tried to fix this one by placing tape around the edge of it, but you can see that the metal is torn and it's going to tear all the way back. So it's kind of sad that this large cowbell saw a premature demise. They're not expensive instruments, but we do want to get the most out of them we can. In the family of cowbells is this guy right here. This is called an agogo bell. And it has two different sounds to it. And also it's on a spring and can be pulled in for the dance style articulations, can be stopped together. So you can get a really cool sort of effect. Again, it's an instrument that shouldn't be pounded on too hard because it will have an untimely and premature demise as this Agogo bell did. These instruments can all be mounted on cymbal stands with the right holders and on drum sets as well, which is another common way to mount them. Remember the adage that's found in all percussion. If the audience can see it, they can hear it. So make sure that if you have the opportunity to play any of these instruments, that you keep it up high and it adds to the joy, maybe even move with the instrument. So that the audience can see you move, and I promise you'll get them moving as well. I hope this has been fun. 
Thank you.